Failed with major repairs. Technical repair report for bidding. Restoration with permit by a fully licensed vendor. Engineer oversight. Three site visits. Certification with owner liability in lieu of a load test. Load test still may be required by the AHJ. Firescape engineers inspect the summary video. Here we are in Santa Clara. And what we're looking at is a Farscape that we've been asked to inspect in uh, preparation for a load test or provide other evidence of strength in lieu of a load test. Farscapes must be structurally sound, must be kept painted. This Farscape has been kept painted, so the only thing you're going to need on this Farscape is a spot paint. It is not structurally sound at this time, so uh, what you have to do is get all that structural work done under an engineer's technical repair report uh, by a design professional or others acceptable to the official. That's something we can do or you can hire somebody to do it. But let's go on and show you. Down below you can see all the rust has started because water is getting in. This was never sealed. This diamond plate is constantly feeding dirt, debris and organic matter into this. And that's why from the shots all down below. Getting some spot painting that's going to have to happen here. I don't think this was a galvanized fire escape. I think it was a painted fire escape. As you can see from down below, I'm going to show you how the water is accumulating, especially on this side, and rusting out this side. Not so much that side, because a lot of times the sun hits that, dries pretty quickly. But it stays moist and cool on this side. And again, I'm going to show you down below how that happens to affect the structural clips underneath. All these treads, 100% of these treads have to be removed and put back and rebolted. That's the current issue right now. And if you change out all four bolts, there is no load test. If you only take out the top bolts, then there's going to be a load test of 100 pounds per square foot. Same issue here. As a matter of fact, this angle down below, which, which I'll discuss, has popped out even further. Currently not a life safety concern, but that is uh, something that should be addressed immediately. Look at the gap here. That gap is almost 3 eighths wide already. And again, debris, matter, water. You add those three things, feeds water down. Rails in pretty good condition, fairly new. So shop welded, bolt, field bolt installed or welded. Original hardware, notice, square head bolts on this fire escape. This used to be a cantilevered system and they replaced it with this system. This fire escape is also an egress system, 711 rise and run, at least 36 inches wide, if not 42, 48. And that's because you can bring people in and out, unlike a fire escape, which is usually 18 inches wide to 24 inches wide. See all the rust jacking? As the pictures will show, rust jacking in that connection there, rust jacking in this connection here. Pictures will show that. Rust jacking in all these treads. Let me go underneath to show. And again, this is an initial inspection report. This is telling you what the problems are now, where they are, and how many exist. That's a technical repair report. Notice all the rust jacking. So, and this is what it looks like when you let it keep it going. There's almost three quarters of an inch spacing here, okay? And the welds have popped. The main thing you want to know is that the rust is so powerful, it'll pop the welds. And the entire connections down here are all welded. So it's only a matter of time before these welds give, and now we have a problem with. But no rust can remain. We've got to drill some weep holes. Water's getting in here, calling all these stains. And look at all the rust jacking here. See how bad the rust jacking is? That's all the way to the very top. Okay, monster rust. Okay, on the top clip, some side clips. Okay, but look at this. That's how big it is. Okay, so that all needs to be. So 100% of all the treads needs to be removed, and then you load test it or change the bolts on the side as well. Clean it, prime it, paint it, seal it. No load test on the tread system. Fix the platforms. No load test either. The feet need to be cleaned because there's some rust buildup on some of these feet, some rust getting inside some of the major connections. So again, you can't leave that open. Load test still may be required by the AHJ. Failed with major repairs. Technical repair report for bidding. Restoration with permit by a fully licensed vendor. Engineer oversight, three site visits. Certification with owner liability in lieu of a load test. 
Fire escape issues. Photos represent what the violations are, not where they are or how many exist. Pass-fail inspection, not technical repair report. 